When I was six, my mom moved my brother and I from Geraldton, Ontario to a lower income neighborhood called County Park in the city of Thunder Bay. Going to school was one of my favorite things to do. I also loved to run and be involved in extracurricular activities. I was a strong long distance runner and had great grades all throughout elementary school. When I was 15, I became the winner of the Thunder Bay Model Search, winning a trip to Toronto. I went on to win the first runner-up for the runway competition, as well as being a cover page finalist. My poor decisions began when I was given a joint at my own kitchen table with my cousins. I also started drinking on the weekends. I met a man who became my first love. I moved out of my parents to his parents' house in a small town called Nakina with less than 500 people. Living in isolation and desperate for an escape, I started smoking up and crushing pills routinely. I thought I'd be happy finding the love of my life, but really, I just wanted to disappear and not be found. It wasn't long before I was addicted to hard drugs and thought of nothing more to do. Constantly being dependent on men and using them for a place to live, I never made a decision on my own or felt self-supporting. Living with one of my exes doing nothing but watching TV, I knew that there was more for me. When I was 25, I made a promise to myself that it was going to be the cleanest year of my life without drugs or alcohol. I decided to quit prescription painkillers and start fresh with a job at Tim Hortons and did well for five months without Oxycontin, morphine, or pot. A coworker convinced me to go to an AA meeting for the first time and I learned to have confidence in myself. I was able to step into the doors of the Indian Friendship Center while I was still withdrawing from pills. I reconnected with my spiritual side when I read a book called The Sacred Tree by Herb Navigan, a First Nations scholar. I studied the medicine wheel teachings and started picking sage and other medicines. Eventually, I went to Delico, an adult treatment center, and asked for my traditional name during a sweat lodge ceremony. I found my passion for running again one August day after I was clean for two months. I ran all the way around Boulevard Lake. My passion for being connected to the world had reignited. Walking through the basement doors of the Friendship Center was a turning point for me. I enrolled in a program to complete my high school. When I turned 28, I hoped to be registered in university taking psychology specializing in addictions. I want to share my experience, strength, and hope to help others who thought there was no other way of life. I now live every day with excitement, joy, happiness, and a sense of freedom. I've been gifted with so many blessings. My spirit name is Ganipawich Mishtatim, meaning standing horse. Knowing I have a responsibility to myself and to my people, I can now be the powerful woman who stands on her own. Miigwech.